Unit Seven, Gynecrisha, the day women rule. Read about it. How would you feel if you were asked to take on the traditional role of the opposite sex for one day? This is what happens in northern Greece each year on January 8th, the day when the festival called Gynecrisha takes place. It is held to praise women for their hard work. Known as the Rule of Women, this festival honors women by reversing the traditional roles that men and women play. On this day, women put aside all of their chores and spend their time socializing in cafes. Meanwhile. Men must stay home and do the housework. The idea that men take over the roles of women on this day can mean more than just chores. For example, one man named Nikos believed that most days of the year he is the breadwinner of the household. Sweeping the floor and doing other chores are not his job; they are women's work. During the festival, though, he is willing to help out his wife. He starts the day by putting on the apron and headscarf that his wife Dina usually wears. He fetches coffee for her, who lies on the sofa, switches TV channels, and takes a supervisory role. Once this is done, Nikos then begins working on the long list of chores that await him. At times, he glimpses the outside through the window from behind the curtains nervously, hoping that no one sees him dominated by his wife. Another man taking part in this annual event is named Demos. He is anxious about looking after his granddaughter as he tries to spoon baby food into her mouth. He dumps the garbage and folds the clothes while his wife Marina simply relaxes. Marina giggles as she watches Demos unskillfully caring for the baby and the house. The fact that Demos does most of the domestic chores that women normally do on this day doesn't mean he fully devotes himself to the festival. There is one job that he absolutely refuses to do: changing the baby's diaper. He claims that it should never be an ambitious man's job. However, Demos's son and daughter-in-law are part of the younger generation that doesn't follow traditional roles as much as their parents do. They live in Athens, where the lifestyle is different. In their daily lives, Demos's son does a lot more chores than Demos does. An additional example is a young single lady named Nikki. She says that she wants to marry, but when she does. She insists that her future husband share the housework. The festival is all done in an amusing way, but it does teach valuable lessons. One lesson is that you can't fully understand a person's job unless you try doing the work yourself. Additionally, many women today hold full-time jobs outside of the home. Therefore, the traditional chores inside the home shouldn't rest squarely on the shoulders of women. Instead. The chores should be shared by every member of the family, regardless of sex. What would you do to celebrate this special festival on the basis of gender equality?